Hey guys, welcome back to Watch With Us. My name is John Keel. I'm gonna be doing a unboxing video, which typically isn't really in my wheelhouse, but this unboxing video is a little bit different because this watch has a little bit of a special place in my heart. Before I proceed, let's do a quick wristwatch check. If I can get that to focus quickly, I am wearing my G-Shock GMWB. It's the stainless steel version on the rubber strap. Uh, this watch, I can't say enough about it. I mean, it brings me back to my childhood with the digital readout, and I just think it's uh, it's pretty darn cool. So let me give you some backstory on this. It's going to get off on a little bit of a tangent. However, it will all tie in together at the end. My good friend Chris Vale, who is the owner of Janus Trading and the brand NTH, and I, along with two other gentlemen, started a a workshop, a class called Micro Brand University. We held our first microbrand university back in, I believe it was March of this year, where we had about eight students who flew in from all over the world, actually. And then we held our second microbrand university just recently in Washington, D.C. Now, the concept and the purpose of microbrand universities is to take industry experts, uh, Chris Vale is one of them, myself, uh, Josh Irons, from River Avenue Digital and John Tour from Headroom. Now in both cases, we held a two-day class and each class had about seven or eight students. They would come in for two days and Chris being the expert in owning a microbrand would teach them about the operational day-to-day -day of a microbrand, the manufacturing process, choosing your manufacturers, the financial aspect of running your own microbrand, as well as a host of other topics. Josh Irons is the founder and owner of River Avenue Digital, whose expertise include online marketing, social media, online advertising, website development, media creation, and a host of other things as well. And John Tour owns a business consulting company called Headroom. John was a former executive at 3M, where his expertise lie in the field of business operations as well as manufacturing. And then I was brought in to cover the retail, sales, brand building, customer service, and promotion side of owning your own micro brands. So we've held these two versions of micro brand university so far. We actually have another one scheduled coming up, I believe, sometime in March or April in Dublin, Ireland. If you're interested in learning more about it or possibly attending, there'll be a link to the Microbrand University website in the description below. Now you're saying, John, why would you be bringing all of this up in an unboxing? It's not self-promotion, guys. I just want to give you the backstory on this watch. The students that have come through Microbrand University, while they came, were in everywhere from concept and pre-production all the way to brands who have actually launched already and wanted to figure out how to build their brand and manage their brand in a better way way. A few of those students that I'd like to mention that have already launched or are about to are guys like Guy Roebuck. Now Guy's brand is the Roebuck Watch Company. He is set to launch his first model called the Divizio this month. The Divizio is a racing inspired watch with an automatic Miyota movement, internal rotating chapter ring, 42 millimeter stainless steel case, and I think personally has a very unique look. I happen to really love the one that is blue and orange. It reminds me of the old Ford GT Heritage, which as some of you may know is, uh, is near and dear to my heart. That, that's my favorite car, although I cannot afford one or remotely close to it. Again, I'll leave links to all of these brands in the description below so that you can jump over there, check them out, possibly sign up for the newsletter, follow them on Instagram, maybe Facebook, and uh, show them support. So check out uh, the Roebuck Watch Company. Another brand is called A Veritas by a gentleman by the name of Mike Grady. Mike's brand is quite a bit different than any particular micro brand you might think of. His watches range from about $2,600 up to about $7,500, all using handmade dials, Swiss movements, and my personal favorite from that collection is the Aperio. Many of you may know that I got my career start with Chrono Swiss, and this watch has a fully skeletonized automatic chronograph, very much like the Chrono Swiss Opus, which I have to say is one of the watches that really got me into the watch industry and really into loving mechanical watches. Next, we have Ardor and Forge by my friend Zach Rakavan. Ardor and Forge, I love. While typically my personal style is always gravitated towards dive watches, Ardor and Forge is more of a field type watch with a handful of different executions that to me just really pop. Zach is a professional designer and it really comes through with the designs of his watches. What also ties in really well with Ardor and Forge is that Zach is kind of an outdoorsman and I think he really did well with pairing a field watch with the outdoor style and lifestyle that's portrayed through his brand. 
His first model, the Rothrock, is in pre-order now with deliveries expected in May of 2020. And the last brand that I'm gonna mention before I get to my unboxing here is a brand by a very good friend of mine, Rusty Mahoney. Rusty and I met about two years ago because he is the 3D rendering artist for NTH. He's an amazing designer, he's an amazing artist, and just a few months ago, he sprung the news on me that he's starting his own brand, Atticus. I've seen the design in person and it is amazing. I do think that Atticus is really offering something in terms of a design that you can't find in too many places right now. And I am personally greatly looking forward to his launch. Not exactly sure when he's going to be launching, but from what I know, he's not going through Kickstarter. He's gonna be going direct through his website. So jump over, check out all the brands I just mentioned. They're great guys, great designers. And having gone through Microbrand University, hopefully we steered them in the right direction for successful launches. But make sure you check out the links in the description below. Check out all these guys and give them some support. Sign up for the newsletters and follow them on social media. Media. Now, let's get into the unboxing. The reason that this one is special to me is the first Microbrand University that we held. There was a student by the name of Mark Miller. His brand, Winfield Watch Company, just started delivering their first models. It's called the Mission Timer One, and my thought is I ordered one for myself. This is not a gift. This was not sent in for a promotion. I actually ordered this, and the next day, Mark emailed me. He said, dude, why didn't you contact me? I wanted to support him, so I actually just bought the watch like everybody else would, and it came about a week ago. I've been holding on to it, unopened, so I could shoot this video. I didn't have time to do it because I was super busy with other things, as well as I took a little trip to uh, Nashville with my wife. So, I've been holding on to it, I've been desperately wanting to open this up, so I'm going to unbox it for you now. I will have my first impression here on camera with you. I know what the watch looks like based from this website. I saw some prototypes and I'm positive I'm gonna love it. But let's get to unboxing this. I'm gonna turn the camera around, we'll get a different angle and I'll unbox it for you guys. Okay, so I've covered up the label here so as not to advertise my address all over the uh, internet. And uh, let's take a look. I distinctly remember vividly having a couple of conversations with Mark regarding the packaging of the Mission Timer 1 and I know that it was something he was very excited about so I'm very interested to see what's actually uh, included here and how it's packaged. So, he's got a very nice outer box here, we'll open it up. I did, I did ask for a couple extra straps that I paid for, so uh, I know that the watch comes with one NATO strap. There's a nice waxed canvas roll here, a business card, a thank you note. This is a polishing cloth and open up the roll here. So this is the strap that it will come with. warranty card and a membership registration with the serial number and the date of purchase. This is kind of cool. This is actually metal. Very cool. Nicely done, Mark. Let's move on to the good stuff. The Mission Timer 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change lenses in a second to get a close-up view, but got some plastic on the crystal here. It's a 42 millimeter case of heat treated 316L stainless steel. Looks very, very nice. There's a Ronda quartz movement in here with a 10 year battery life. 120 click unidirectional bezel. What I really like is if you notice, the bezel is actually printed backwards. 
The reason being is instead of using it as a traditional dive type bezel where you can see how much time has elapsed, this can actually be used as a countdown timer. So let's say for instance, I needed to know in 15 minutes of a task I need to do, I set the minute hand to the 15 minute marker and actually counts down to zero. This is a feature I've not seen on many watches at all and I really like the functionality of that. So again, I'm gonna change the lens. We'll get a bit of a closer view. Bear with me one second. So getting into the full specs of the Mission Timer 1 by Winfield. So as I mentioned before, the case is a heat treated 316L stainless steel case with a very nicely bead blasted finish. The crystal is a double domed sapphire crystal with AR coating. I mentioned before the unidirectional bezel with countdown markings instead of traditional markings. It's got a screw down crown that is signed with crown guards. Screw down case back with engraving. If I peel this plastic off, get a better look at it. The movement is a Ronda 715LI with 10 year battery life. The Mission Timer 1 is anti-magnetic and anti-shock or shock resistant. The dial and hands have an extra heavy coating of C3 loom on the hour markers, the hands, and what I think is a really great touch, the W, the Winfield W logo. So guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little unboxing video and learning about some of the other brands that went through Microbrand University. I'm really stoked to see Mark's final creation here in his first model, the Winfield Mission Timer 1. I think for a first model, he really knocked it out of the park. The Mission Timer 1 is available right now on his website. There'll be a link in the description below. The retail price is $450, which I personally feel is really a fantastic value for what it has to offer. I'm looking forward to wearing this one a bit. And again, make sure you check out those other brands we mentioned. Don't forget to subscribe to the Watch With Us channel if you haven't already. There's a little bell icon down there as well. If you click on that, it'll alert you every time a new video comes up on the Watch With Us channel. Check us out on Instagram. My buddy Ricardo does an amazing job managing that. And thank you guys so much for your support, for watching, for all your comments. Let us know below what you think of the Mission Timer 1, and we will be getting back to you with another video very, very shortly. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you very soon.